crazy that this is now a tourist attraction. Dangerous since 1896. Dangerous since 1896. Yeah. Morning, enter at your own risk. Yeah, check so that out. Ominous. Hi, y'all. Jerry and I are here at Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. We're about to take a tour and see what it was like, what I guess being in a prison was like. So uh, if y'all want to watch, come along with us now. Well, this is cool. It's like a distillery. I just want to get a ticket for the tour. Thank you. You would be surprised how many people do. <laughs> Look, Jerry, you get you soap on the rope. What if I drop it? Well, <laughs> bend over. Hi, Ben. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Some turkey plate with um, the mac and cheese and corn on the cob. Okay. I'm gonna sit here and what else? Jerry's got to eat. Oh, you got bologna. Man, that is a thick cup of bologna. Prison food isn't so bad, huh? Fake prison food is awesome. <laughs> it's kind of weird that it's just on a tray. Is it good? It's one thing to convert as a tourist attraction. It's another thing to think that this would might be your home for the next 10, 20, 30 years. Or life. Whatever. 30 years is would feel like life. Or before the electric. Oh my gosh. It's, it's kind of crazy too. You know, if you had been a prisoner here, to think that it's now a tourist attraction. Yeah, I've always been like petrified of going to jail or prison. Just the idea of it just how horrifying it's just this is like the closest I would ever get get to seeing the inside of a prison and maybe that's why a lot of people come because you know they would hopefully never see the inside of a prison Ugh, crazy. almost looks like a castle an old ugly castle
than I happen to have you do. Yeah. Because sincerely want this to be the very best day in prison you ever had. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Right. Right. Deal today. <laughs> Gymnasium is that way. Cell block museum. Tour continues this way. They got like a little yellow arrows here. Wow, here's a here's the look at that. Nice and dark. Yeah, tour. up there, all the way up to the very top. Wow. <laughs> I think something out of a movie, really, you know? It's the only way you can relate to it. Oh, this, so this is, I guess, one of the showers, or the shower, for this cell block look. And just like, right here. It's crazy. All right. Oh, yes, here we go. Wow, here's the, uh, another, I guess another side of sales. I think it's, but one of these are the, I wonder what those are, like a holding cell or something? Yeah, these are kind of the same, just another side. Here. Some pretty in interesting info. You might want to pause the video. Talks about how the floors used to be dirt floors, slipped in hammocks suspended by chains to keep vermin at bay. Here's a picture of the suspended beds. And this is the cell that James Earl Ray supposedly spent. His years here in. I don't think you can see it through here, but it says the games to be sold, not to be told. Huh. That is crazy. What's that? Could have been the cap yeah, cafeteria. Then push fell inmates to a desk over the railings. The, yeah, this wasn't here until that happened. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, they... yeah, originally there wasn't the cages. Nope. It was just the railing. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Hit first. Hit first. Man. Oh, just no. I will never do anything bad <laughs> just because I don't ever want to go to prison. All you guys do is come here one time. Whew, that's what I think all little kids come here experience how horrible yeah. this is. Oh, look at the bear. I know. I'll get a picture of you with the bear. Okay. I don't know. They might have had because some of this stuff looks like it's peeling. 
to give them something to, you know, look at while they were. Well, that would just make it worse, I think, in some yeah. ways. Yeah, it would stay. Ease the tension. Three times a day. So dilapidated. <sighs> See, that's why you don't want to go to prison because you wouldn't be able to do stuff like that right there. <laughs> uh. yes, I guess this is where they where they cooked. Yeah, and they cooked in here, and then there's where you went and got your food. I'm gonna get a picture of that chained yeah, chain on that. And then we go in here. This is the visiting gallery. This is where I guess if you wanted to come see somebody, that's where you came. Contact visitation. Yeah, that's where they entered here. They entered here. Yeah, you sat, sat there. there. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. When did the when did this stop being a prison? Like when did it stop? I think. And then in here, there's. Guard station. This was the guard station. U.S. U.S. grievance <laughs> probably didn't get used. I think this is just another. Yep, cell block. Wonder how like bad in like. Did it look like this when they were here? Or did it look, you know, not as dilapidated? Down the steps. Yeah. And there's another person I gotta. Takes your brother with you. That's my coach. Call him coach. Coach. He pushed three feet while I was pushing two seventy five back in that. This is the maximum security. Yeah, dangerous. This is D block. It's like for the, I guess the really really bad ones. No, man, that's... Ugh. Do you think it'll look this dilapidated, or do you think this is just... This is for us, where it's just not that kid. Probably towards the end. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, here's some cell blocks. Let's see what's on this side first. Yeah, this is like... More cell blocks, probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, look, it's a shower. And because I guess they're maximum security, it had to be in a cell. It's being used original. Oh, look, there's a cell. Look, they had so See, these were so secure that they just got their food through that, I bet. Yeah. They didn't even. It's maximum security. Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. Except for what I've seen in movies. <laughs> so, like, I guess if they were in maximum security, were they, like, the worst, like, the, like, I don't know. Yeah, they were in here because they were killers. Yeah, but there was killers on the other ones. Mm. Well, there was. I yeah, just read well, it. If you're in prison and you kill her. Like you did something bad in prison, I guess, right. kind of a. 
or you were a serial killer. This is where you wound up. Here's some more sales. Let me shut the door real quick and get a picture and then get one of me. And get one of you. Okay. I knew it was inevitable. Jerry is now doing hard time. That's what he gets. He's too much moonshine. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Solitary confinement. Oh, you can pause the video and read. So I guess if they look at this one, this one's like all overgrown. Holy crap. So does that mean this is like they like a lot of times they got stuck in these? Like they were put into these? I think this was their outdoor time. Oh. Uh, for solitary oh my God, about this would be their outdoor time because they don't want to put them in there with anybody else. So. Oh, so they put a few in in them. these or something, or or put Two one in there. Time. They kill each other. Is all that. Um. Oh, so because they couldn't have like a courtyard because. Right, because they're in solitary confinement. So they would put them in the in out here. Oh wow. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, but they have like these things like to give them stuff. I think. There's the guard tower. Yeah, so I guess it is like a castle, like a fortress, you know, with the. Got it tour going on right now. All right, well, let's go over here to the museum. Oh, wow, read that. The whipping post. Oh. The laundry room. That's why it's called museum. Oh, maybe it's. So this is the laundry room. Residents of Petros could bring their lawn their garments for uh, free laundry. Inmates made 17 cents an hour. Look, it has the hole. I love it that's where like the guards win or something. I think about when you go to Biltmore and tour the Biltmore house. This is not Biltmore. <laughs> uh, it's really kind of sad. I mean, I guess you can't feel sad for people who commit murder and rape, but this is the museum. Get all the different. This, oh, there's all kinds of different artifacts here. Oh, I guess stuff that they made. Check the key. Look at that prison made sculpture with plastic bags. Wow. Yeah. Made boots. Utensils they used. 
Food tray. Tools used by the miners in the prisons. There's the inmate mining uniform. Checkerboard. Pretty good. Wow, this is really impressive. It's crazy. All right, now we're going to go down to the hole. There's something. I don't know what that's for. No heat or air conditioning. No, Little kind of ventilation. No one. Wow. Six by three by eight. Here's your mom and grandma. Wow. So that is what you would be in. Like this, I wonder if it had any like a mattress or anything, or if it was just no, it was, there was no mattress or anything. Exactly. You just well, there's a bed there, so there might have been a mattress, might have been a mattress. Yeah, there's it depends on what they did. Sometimes they pull the mattresses out, at least that's what I remember reading. And the crazy part is, there's no light either, right? No. So you were just in darkness. It's light. If there was a light in there, the only time they flip it on is if they're coming to get you out or feed you. Do you know this for a fact? Or are you no, just no. assuming? No. How do you know it for a fact? Were you, is there something you want to tell me? Something about yourself that I should know? <laughs> no, Richard. Never <laughs> you been to spend, prison. You, prison, you spent prison time in the hole. No. <laughs> I've never um, and supposedly in here there's um, yeah, like scratches on the wall. This one's gonna have it. I mean, the only hope is because of the way it's made, maybe rats wouldn't get in here. Ugh. I'm trying to see if I can find some scratches. They might have painted over it. There's something, I don't know. Probably a lot of how long they've been here, how they count days and not get to see And over here, that's the gymnasium. So we'll go in here real quick. And here it is, just like a regular gymnasium. All right, well, that was brushy. Um, the lady who at the front who let us in with our ticket, she was telling us that uh, Brushy's only been closed down since 2009. So just 10 years ago. And uh, you know, all that decay and, and uh, that you see on the walls and everything, and that's happened over the past 10 years. She said it was uh, actually in pristine con condition when it was functional. And then just over where, you know, it's not been ran for 10 years. Is that's how quickly it's deteriorated? It's crazy. Well, said you could eat off the floors. Yeah, she said you could eat off the floors. It was so, um, so pristine. And then not just that, she was saying to talk about how, you know, obviously this was the prison for the hard and criminal, for the, you know the really bad, bad you know people who did really bad things, but also people who didn't do much of anything. I mean, there was a, she was talking about some man from like the 1930s who stole twelve dollars, which I mean even by today's standards if that was what five hundred dollars that's crazy and he was locked up for what she said years. 10 years 10 years, 10 years with these hard i mean that's just crazy it's just crazy i mean it's really sad it's sad because you think of how many lives you know of people and and very possibly some innocent people um and then some not innocent but it's just i tell you what if that don't scare you straight looking at that and just oh i don't know what would uh, because I was thinking it probably would have been better if 
the criminals had to deal with it being dilapidated like that because that'd make it even worse. That'd make it even harder to, you know. That would make it a third world. <sighs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So that was Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Um, I mean, it's. I'm glad that they opened it up for tour for to tour as a um, attraction. Only just if nothing else, you could take your kids and scare them into <laughs> never do anything wrong in their life. Because you definitely uh, take. I mean, I never went to a right? prison. I never saw a jail. I've always been petrified of it for some reason. Don't know why. I don't even have family really in jail. But it just I don't know. It always scared me. But that if I'd seen that as a kid, holy crap! I would have most definitely never done nothing for sure. But well. Y'all, that is going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed that tour of Brushy Mountain. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, if uh, you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. You can also go find me over on Instagram, where I post a lot of photos and stuff, too. That's Hiking with Braids. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye. Peace.